This is long overdue, but I really need to get get this out because um, I promised to. So, Bev, um, here's the first video of two that I'll be making where I talk about the recent VCLT you sent me around three and a half weeks, a month ago. Um, again, I want to thank you so much for being so kind to me and following my channel. Um, you've gone out of your, as I've said before, you've gone out of your way to um, really make me feel welcome. Um, really make me feel there's somebody that looks forward to uh, me making a video. And... Um, Another thank you. So the least I could do is make the make these next two videos I'm going to make talking about the albums you sent me. The first one I'm going to talk about is the brand new album from the melodic rock band AOR band Treat out of Sweden. Their newest album, The End Game. And as I mentioned in the video where I when I got these, I've been looking all over for this, trying to find this album here in the States, after hearing another YouTuber review it, and after listening to a Best of Treat uh, vinyl Bev sent me before. And um, I don't think I showed you the inside of the booklet, I don't think I've really looked at the inside of the booklet myself. But anyway, you know, lyrics, credits, uh, members of the band, all of the normal stuff you'd find in the CD booklet. Now on to the music on this. This is a solid 4.5 out of 5. It really is. Um... The only song I really did not care for was this song called Jesus of Hollywood. But everything out, everything else, I liked, if not downright loved. The first three songs, Freudian Slip, Rabbit Hole, Symbiosis, especially Symbiosis. All three of those songs are stellar. Uh, symbiosis, of course, can become an earworm in your in your ear. It can stick with you. It's you know that catchy. Uh, Home of the Brave. Uh, My parade. Last man standing. I think that's the name of that song. Both ends burning. Oh. The one, wake me when it's over, not last man standing. Magic. Carolina Reaper. That's... <clears throat> that and Symbiosis are my favorite two songs. Um, going into what the sound of it's like. Like I said, it's... Melodic rock, AOR elements. Um, the vocalist gives me the vibe of the vocalist from the Finnish band, One Desire. Um, you know, these this band's from Sweden, but I get the vibe when I listen to that vocalist of One Desire, which is, you know, the same genre. And um, I also think of Asukaru, another Swedish band, when I listen to Treat. But um, this is a marvelous album. It really is. And I can't wait to get more from their um, catalog. I can't believe it wasn't until I got the best stuff from you earlier, Bev, that I even heard of these guys. 
and they've been around since 81 from my research that I've done. Um, I must say this is an interesting cover. I, for the first time, I really paid attention to the cover. You know, kind of reminded me of a scorpion's cover, the little, what looks to be like, well, <laughs> uh, sperm. I can't, I can't say it any other way to that, but it looks like sperm going towards the speaker or whatever that's supposed to be there. <laughs> the end game. But, you know, a great album. Very good album. Um, like I said, um, Freudian Slip, four out of five. Rabbit Hole, four out of five. Symbiosis, five out of five. Home of the Brave, three out of five. Both Ends Burning, five out of five. My Parade, four out of five. Wake Me When It's Over, five out of five. Jesus of Hollywood, 2.5 out of five. Um... Carolina Reaper, 5 out of 5. Magic, 4 out of 5. Dark to Light, 5 out of 5. The End Game of Love, 5 out of 5. Some of the tracks were out of order. <laughs> Sorry for that. Sorry for me struggling to read the track list at the back, but the curse of being legally blind, I guess. But again, Bev... Thank you so much. Um, definitely proved my instinct right, right about liking this album, um, and I'm going to delve. I'm going to delve deeper into Treat's catalog. Uh, yeah, I'll listen. I just got done listening to this. Most of this, anyway, to refresh my memory before I did the video. Maybe I should have listened to it all. But um, next will be Eclipse Wired. If not later today, tomorrow at the latest, I'll get this done. Um, going to be having company coming in and out these next few days. So going to be in between getting the house ready for that and other crap I have to do. Hopefully I'll get a minute to sit down and do the other video for you. Um, I will give a little bit of an update about what to expect on this channel. Coming up, besides the review of the Eclipse album, the State Fair, the Wisconsin State Fair is going on. I'm going to be going to a couple of shows at the State Fair. One of them is rock, and one of them isn't rock. And I'll save who the artists are for those respective concerts when I when I do the review of them. And I'm I'm looking forward to those concerts. I I know I'm really looking forward to the rock show. Kind of on the fence how much I'm looking forward to the non-rock show. Although there are elements of the artist that's performing that I do like. So it's it's not that I'm, gonna be, I'm, I'm anticipating not liking it. But anyway, there's my little review. If hopefully that passes as a review, I really don't know. <laughs> but um, I guess me doing videos so infrequently, I've kind of lost some of the confidence I've had doing these, but I really should get on here more often and do these videos and 
get the knack of it again and hopefully do better at it. But anyway, thanks to anybody who watches this. I look forward to talking to you again about Eclipse Wired and those two concerts. Until that time, enjoy your day and enjoy the music.